Birds! They're all around us, they may or may not be real, and they are always watching. Hello everybody, my name is Henry Hansen, and before I sold my soul to the arts, I used to be a competitive chicken showman. That's right! For many years I would put on my best lab coat and show off a chicken to a judge like it was a lost Vermeer painting. And not to brag or anything, but I was kinda good at it. In fact, my final year showing, I won the Grand Champion Showman Award in the Senior Division. Granted, I was also the only senior showman competing, but a trophy is a trophy and no take backsies. Honestly, it's probably where my life peaked. And in an attempt to get back some of that faded glory, and despite the fact that I haven't touched a chicken in the better part of a decade, I have decided to pass on some of my wisdom to you by reviewing every breed of chicken from my favorite childhood book, Stories Illustrated Guide to Poultry Breeds. How many breeds is that? 20? 30? 128. I've owned many of these chickens, I've shown many of these chickens, and I've feared many of these chickens. Now, let's get to reviewing. Americana. This breed lays blue and green eggs. A couple of these bad boys would put the Easter Bunny out of business forever, and no one likes a job stealer. Ancana. They're excellent layers, but you know what they say. My Ancana don't want none unless you got buns, hun. And Illusion. These are an ornamental layer, which means they are fancy, but they're also very productive. The Fraser Crane of chickens, if you will. Ericana. Like the Americana, the Ericana also lays blue and green eggs, and no one likes a copycat. Australorp. Good for showing, good for eating, and good for laying. Get yourself a breed that can do all three. It is triple threat season, ladies. Let's go! Barnevelder. Shinier than a disco ball. California Gray. These birds were never accepted into the APA standard of perfection. They are kind of like a zebra, but if a zebra was a disappointment and also a chicken. Campine. This breed lays 200 eggs a year, but they don't go broody, which means they don't have the instinct to sit on those eggs until they hatch. Truly a bird that says, F them kids. Catalana. They do well in heat, but they hate tight spaces. So you can cook this bird, but they won't enjoy it. Chanticleer. This is a Canadian breed that gets dramatic when it gets confined. Robin sparkles in the field, Robin daggers in the cage. Dominique the oldest breed in the United States. They were thought to be extinct, but then pulled an Emma Roberts in American Horror Story Coven and came back with a vengeance in the 1970s. Faomi. Neck. Hamburg. They look cute, but they're expert foragers. Take one thrifting and you're sure to find your next statement piece. Lakenvelder. The author of this book thought that they were the best breed of chicken ever, and... I just, I don't see it. I, th I, th I think they're fine. I, I don't even have a joke for this section. I, I just, I, they're, they're, they're fine. It's, it's okay to be fine. Leghorn. These babies are egg-laying machines. This bad boy can fit so many eggs. Three of these and you'll never run out of eggs for as long as you live. I'm talking frittatas, omelets, quiches, custards, other egg things. You can have so many with just three of these babies. $29.99 per month, APR finance... Marin. This breed has hard feathers with no fluff. They're purely focused on egg laying. 10 out of 10, great work ethic, would hire based on their LinkedIn profile. Menorca. They've been around since ancient Roman times, but they can't take the cold, so how are they still here? Norwegian Jerhorn. Norway's only chicken breed. Good for Norway. They're very tiny, but lay large eggs in comparison to their body size. It's like if humans had babies the size of microwaves. Penna de Seneca. This breed almost died out, but was saved by the Spanish government in the 1980s, only to be completely wiped out again when, a couple decades later, Leon S. Kennedy burned the village they were living in to the ground while he was looking for the president's daughter. Plymouth Rock. The pilgrims didn't land on this chicken, but it'd be pretty cool if they did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Rhode Island Red. Named after the state with that one mansion that Taylor Swift wrote that song about. There goes the last great American chicken breed, Rhode Island White. Despite having a similar name, this breed has no relation to the Rhode Island Red. It has rode its famous brother's coattails all the way to the county fair, and you know, I gotta respect the grift. Well, Summer. Their eggs are sometimes described as terracotta, as, like the clay, they have a deep red color and will instantly shatter if I roundhouse kick them. A seal. Their name means of long pedigree in Arabic. 
This chicken will definitely ask you if you know who his father is. Blue Hen of Delaware. Blue, from Delaware. It's a hen. It does what it says on the tin. Brahma. These birds are toxic masculinity condensed into the size of a teapot. Buckeye. The only breed of chicken to be solely developed by a woman. They're great layers, great meat birds, great for showing, and they go broody. Honestly, no joke here, this actually is one of my favorite breeds of bird. Cornish. Big, matey claws. Delaware. From Delaware, but not blue, so what even is the point? Faverole. These birds have beards that rival that of a Brooklyn barista who really wants you to come see his post-industrial noise rock band show at a warehouse next weekend. This chicken has all of the beard and none of the baggage. Holland. Actually, the Holland was not created in Holland. It was created in New Jersey, and I get it. If I was created in New Jersey, I'd lie and say I was from Holland, too. Iowa Blue. Blue, from Iowa, does what it says on the tin. Java. This breed has the longest back of any American chicken breed, so if you get one, make sure you know a good chiropractor. Jersey Giant. They big. Malay. The tallest chicken breed. Always willing to help you get that dish off a high shelf. New Hampshire. Small, but with a bark. Like New Hampshire. Orpington. A great all-around breed. Honestly, if you're looking for a chicken to start out with to dip your toes into the world of poultry, you really can't go wrong with an Orpington. Shamo. This breed is federally protected by the Japanese government. Truly a bird built for the runway. Sussex. Super common, super reliable, does whatever you need it to do. It doesn't really have any defining characteristics of its own, but really can be adapted to whatever you need it to be. It's kind of like the tofu of chickens. Wyandotte. These birds are assholes, and I have the leg scars to prove it. Do not buy these birds. Whatever you do, please. American Game Bantam. American, bred for game, and they're a bantam. Does what it says on the tin. Appenzeller. This breed looks like they're terribly worried about their husband's mysterious disappearance officer. Bearded Danvers Bantam. This breed has built-in earmuffs. Truly the pinnacle of poultry design. Booted Bantam and Bearded Duckle. My last show bird was one of these, and they have beautiful feathers, especially on their legs, but they get messed up super easily, so if you want to have a show quality bird, you basically have to make sure that they never touch the ground ever. So you can give the chicken a good life or make it look pretty. The choice is yours. Cochin. A big, beautiful loaf of a bird. Crevcore. Like their punk rock hairstyle suggests, these birds have a bit of an attitude. The bad boy of the poultry world. Kubalaya. This bird was bred to be a fighting bird, but they actually turned out to be really gentle. They just want to dance, Dad! Dutch Bantam. One of the smallest breeds of chicken out there, this bird was reintroduced to America three separate times before it took hold. So remember the old saying, if at first you don't succeed, try again two more times and then eventually maybe you'll be accepted by the American Poultry Association. Houdan. This bird has been known to break their own eggs in their nest if there are too many of them. Truly a bird that will say, I just want to let you know before we start this relationship, I want three kids max, and if you want any more, that's a, that's a deal breaker. Japanese Bantam. They don't lay, there's no meat on them, they don't go broody, and 25% of them die before they even hatch. But damn it, they're gorgeous! Crying Copa. This breed isn't super big in the United States, but is really popular in Europe, which means all the American chicken breeds will be copying what it does in like five years. La Fleche. These birds may look like the devil, but the only thing sinful about them is that creamy custard you're gonna make with all the eggs you get from them. Guys? I think we've made too many chickens. Langshan. This breed is great for laying and great for meat, but is also a world-class showbird. So if you made chicken nuggets from this chicken, they'd probably be bedazzled. Manx Rumpy. False advertising. How can you call something rumpy and then not give them a tail? Modern Game. This breed was created when England outlawed cockfighting and all the breeders needed something to do with all of their chickens. So they bred the fighting instinct out of them. Honestly, this bird doesn't know how to do anything anymore. All they know how to do is charge phone, eat hot chip, and lie. Naked Neck. 
This chicken just woke up in the dumpster behind a golden corral outside of Kenosha, Wisconsin after a three-day bender, missing their phone and all of their neck feathers. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, they're bred without their neck feathers from the start. Well, now I understand why they went on the bender. Nankin. This breed was used for years to sit on other birds' eggs. Then the incubator was invented, and we just kept them alive to be nice, I guess? Old English game. A real hardy breed. A rooster's rooster. The Ford Truck Month of Chickens. Orloff. This breed was dropped from the APA standard of perfection because no one cared about them. Imagine how it must feel to have a document in writing telling you that you're not popular. Phoenix. This bird has a tail that can grow to be several feet long, which is pretty cool for a minute until it starts to rain and your chicken turns into a gremlin pulling a six-foot-long trail of mud behind it. Polish. This is the dumbest breed alive, and I absolutely love them. Their head feathers grow so long that they cover the eyes, rending them effectively blind, and because of this, they're super sweet and super calm. I had one named Phyllis that I trained to ride a tire swing and walk on a leash. Red Cap. This breed has a truly massive comb. Coincidentally, it's also the only breed to be sponsored by Preparation H. Rosecomb. Earlobes for days. Seabright. A beautiful bird that's really hard to deal with as a chick, but mellows out once it reaches adulthood. This breed will test your ability as a parent. Sarama. This breed is so small that some people keep them as pets in their apartments. So if you want to have a Sarama in your next condo, make sure you have the Saramas Allowed button checked on your next Zillow search. Sicilian Buttercup. A breed that looks like they would fit you with some fine concrete boots and send you to sleep with the fishes at the bottom of the horse's water tank. Silky. No picture of a Silky can truly do the breed justice, mostly because they're usually about 20 times uglier than they look in any picture. We had an ugly chicken contest every year at the fair, and nine times out of ten, the winner was a Silky. Sultan. Like the name suggests, this bird got their start as living garden ornaments for the Turkish royal family. Basically, they were living lawn flamingos. Sumatra. These chickens are some of the highest jumpers out there. The pole vaulting champion of the annual poultry track meet for 150 years running. Vorwerk Bantam. A chicken that looks like it just downed three monster energy drinks and is starting to be able to taste colors. White-faced Spanish. Where does the earlobe stop and the face begin? Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Yokohama. Long tails, pretty eggs, good vibes only. So there you have it. All 128 breeds of chicken from Stories Illustrated Guide to Poultry Breeds reviewed. I hope that you've learned a bit about the world of chickens and are maybe starting to think about maybe dipping your toes into the world of poultry yourselves. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go look at pictures of my nine-year-old self holding my chicken trophies and cry.